everyone, this is Danny with Partay here. So as promised, I'm offering a free recipe for this black screen coating uh, using over-the-counter paints that are easy to obtain and fairly inexpensive. Uh, I have tested it up to 75 Lux, great results. Uh, 75 Lux Think Bright Grocery Store Lighting. Um, and this recipe does a very noble job of uh, simulating many of the properties of our commercial formulas. Um, it balances perceived brightness, uh, great color reproduction, and ambient light diffusion. Um, this recipe is free to folks who subscribe to our channel. Uh, so if you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then simply email us at the address in the description below. Uh, we'll respond with a PDF that contains the paint recipe and tips on application. Uh, so right now I'm using approximately 75 foot candles. Uh, which is more than most gems. Um, most gems register in somewhere in about the, the 50 to 55 range. Um, so it's a lot of power that's being thrown at it. Uh, the Kelvin temperature on this is a little lower. It's somewhere in about the three to 4,000 range as opposed to say somewhere in the five to 10,000 range of most gems. Um, but in the end, this is more brutal lighting than anything that anyone out there in their, in their home should be throwing at it, uh, especially on any kind of routine basis. So I'm going to let you see what it looks like for the diffusion, and then I'm going to switch off the lights here. Um, the lights that I'm using are CFL lights. Uh, both of those are rated at 20 watts. So essentially you're getting uh, somewhere in the ballpark of about uh, 2600 uh, plus I've got a couple of other lights on I'm not even throwing into that mix but essentially about 2600 uh, lumens uh, in a in a beam uh, width that's somewhere in the ballpark of uh, I think I estimated that at about 120 so that gets us our, our ratios there um, so if anybody has any questions related to that I'll be glad to, to answer that so I'm gonna go back real quick and let you see what this looks like in the dark. Now pay attention to your whites, your colors. Um, yes, everything's a little bit darker, uh, but as far as color reproduction, white balance, um, added to diffusion, uh, You'll see from the recipe uh, that uh, why this works the way that it does. And I'm going to zoom in just a bit so you can really see just how beautiful it is. Very, very nice color reproduction. Um, it's a little darker than the screen that I have behind it. Um, but if you're looking for black screens, black screens tend to be uh, kind of a trend right now. Uh, so if you're looking for this kind of contrast, you're going to be able to get it. Uh, but you're not going to get your colors washed out nasty and all that kind of stuff. So uh, once again, uh, hit subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. And then if you'll reach out to us at the email, I'll send you a PDF with the, uh, the instructions for creating the mix as well as some tips on application, whether you're spraying or rolling. Uh, so thank you, and as always, have a blessed day. Uh, on a final note, I just wanted to be able to display that this is a black screen. Um, you can see from the black remote that I've got on there, uh, it kind of handles ambient light the same way that that does because it's more of a brush material. Um, but also wanted to throw out there that if you're not a DIYer and uh, you would just like to buy uh, a mix that is uh, going to work well for you in your home environment, I will be following up with uh, my top three recommendations for YouTube paint mixers um, that sell very nice product um, and you can just get the product and roll it on or spray it on yourself. Uh, so that'll be coming next. Thank you.